So you're about to join a Zoom meeting or a Zoom event, and this might be your first time. So there's a few things that I want you to keep in mind just so you know uh, how to access the most important features and so you can get the most out of this experience. And to start with in this first video in this little series, I wanna show you how to download the app, how to update the app, which is really important to make sure that you have the newest functionality that Zoom has come out with. They are coming out with a lot of updates right now. So you really wanna make sure that you have the newest version to access things like self-selected breakout rooms or new reaction buttons uh, and other things that really help you be engaged in the Zoom meeting. So the first thing that I wanna show you is how to actually join a Zoom event. Um, so you might have received an email that has a link in it. There was this meeting ID, maybe also a passcode and you're not sure how to actually get that uh, on your computer. So let me share my screen here for a second. Um, let's say this is one of the links that you get. I will copy paste it in here. And as you can see, it's a quite long link. And once you click it in your browser, this is what will happen. There will be this little pop-up message that says uh, open zoom.us. And if you click open, which means you already have the app installed on your computer, which is all that you need to do. If you click this, as you can see, it's going to stay connecting. And then you're here in the waiting room. Uh, actually, this is the view that maybe I will see because I, I started the meeting, but let's leave this again. Um, the other thing that you might see when you click this button and you don't see this pop up is this. So if you have the Zoom client installed launch meeting, so you can just click that button here, which will do the same thing as if you click the pop up. Otherwise, download and run Zoom. And I highly, highly recommend that you download the app on your computer and you join via computer because that will give you, again, a much better experience than joining by phone. Screen is quite small or joining via tablet uh, which sometimes gets a little bit tricky. And even using something like a Chromebook, uh, there aren't all the functionality available that are on a PC or a Mac computer if you r download and run the app. And then there's this other option on the bottom that says, if you cannot download or run the application, join from your browser. And this is the same thing as with the Chromebook. It's not ideal. It works if nothing else uh, works at all. So you can still join and participate, but the preference really is to download and run Zoom. And once you click this button, it will download um, the file and you just run the installer and then you click that link again. Now, the other way to join the meeting is by opening up the Zoom app. Um, let me switch to this. So opening up the Zoom app and then clicking the join button. And here your Zoom app is going to ask you for the meeting ID. Uh, you can enter your name and then you wanna turn off on your video, don't connect to audio, whatever you wanna do. So for the meeting ID, this is a uh, number that you would also get in the email and once you enter that, which I'm going to quickly grab from here. So for this test, this is the meeting ID. And then you simply click join. And now, oh, again, because uh, I am the host, it locked me in directly. But if you're not the host, this is where it will prompt you for a passcode. And the passcode should also be in your email. Okay, let's leave this meeting for now. Okay, the so this is how you join the Zoom meeting. Now, let's say you already have the app installed, but you're not sure if you have the most up-to-date version. So let me go back to sharing my screen here. The way you can tell if you have the most up-to-date version is if you click on the menu on the top here and then check for updates. It's just one of the drop-down options. It will run a quick test and tell you you are up to date or it will tell you there is a new update available and it will invite you to uh, install that on your computer. So just click install, go through all the steps and this will make sure again that you can participate in the meeting and have all the functionality that everybody else can see. 
So this is it for video one. In video two, I will tell you how to da 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 da. And in video two, I will tell you how to um, go from clicking the link and starting the meeting to turning on your webcam to connecting to the audio. All right, I will see you there.